College football on CBS Sports Network is presented by Geico in the Mountain West. Five and five Boise State, five and five Utah State. Up to the minute standings in the Mountain West. You just watched a thriller. UNLV holding on to go to six and one. Boise State sits at four and two. They still have a shot at the championship game. Watch those numbers. He talked about the frustration of continually losing to the Broncos. Dudley, fair catch. Sometimes they drop. Austin Bolt there as well, and that trips. Set. That ball is deflected and incomplete. Someone got a hand on Green just as he released it. It looked like Paul Fitzgerald. They ran the ball quite well against Nevada. Lega has time, running out of it, scrambles. No receivers on that side of the field, and he'll be knocked out of bounds, escorted there by Ty Benefield. Since the play with the edge that Tim does. They're down 14. Four-man rush. Lega going down the sideline for Royals. And it's well over his head and incomplete. Jalen Clark on the coverage is injured and out for the year as well. Green fires. Man wide open and he overthrows Austin Bolt, who had a big catch last week for a touchdown against Nevada. Stretch you out. Yeah, outside the numbers on both sides. Lega fires, tight end, caught there. That's Brock Lane. He got a block from the official, and he's out to the 44-yard line. Out Boise State to fully substitute. On the mesh, oh, great play there. That's Tubner again, and that's going to be short of the first down. Listening to him. And Olani breaks it across the 20, out to the 21. Pressure here. One of those is Billy Bowens, a wide receiver, and they'll throw it to Bowens out of the backfield, but he falls as he makes the catch, and he's three yards shy of the first down. Cooper Lega, play action, fires down the field, Royals got it! And he is in! Touchdown! He made a leap, tightrope on the sideline, and Lega to Royals, 6 nothing Utah State. It's on that. Genty is in to start this drive. Green fires it. Genty is there. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another. Genty's 40. Still on his feet. Out to the 48-yard line. Ike Larson made the stop. Billy Bowen's in motion. Three-man rush. Plenty of time. Green flushed now. Day oh! And he's caught from behind. Wow. That's Anthony Switzer. He's on guys specifically with that tempo. Blitz comes, fire to the side. Vaughn with the catch right at the 30 and wrestled down by Tudner, but not before he fights enough to get a first down. This should become really important because they have double duty. On the handoff, this is Booth, and he breaks loose. Booth across midfield. Booth up the side. Bearing to the right, he's 20. He's finally caught at the 15-yard line. Devon Booth. Just missed tackles in the hole. Boom, right there. Shea Oladipo missed one in the hole. Then another one backside by Russ up here. Pressure. Third down nine. Lagas flushed. And in trouble, and they bury him. At the 17, DJ Schramm cleaned it up. Snap good, hold good, kick is right down the middle. And the Aggies with a 10-0 lead to start the second quarter. Halani, big Ooh. hole! George Halani, midfield, it's a race! Halani to the 30, gets a blocker! Halani to the house! Touchdown Broncos! Seventy-five yards, and just like that, the Broncos are back, baby. This is just a gaping hole inside, Rich. This offensive line, in my opinion, is the most improved position group on the team, and possibly the entire country. And they just did their job magnificently. And you think Boise State's better when twenty-four is healthy? My goodness. The size of the hole, the acceleration by Holani. To have out here tonight. Wait a minute, no orange peels for him? <laughs> There's Briggs. Ball's out. And the ball's loose. Boise State says they have it. 
and they do! Rodney Robinson! It looked like Braxton Feely who pried it loose. He was falling to the ground as that ball came out. But who other than DJ Schramm, he gets there first and then it gets punched out from behind. It's the 12th. Green, gonna throw back to the other corner. And it's caught by Lauder. Touchdown, Boise State. How about that play design? That's the first touchdown by Louder, the Tory Pine Falcon, the stud muffin, the pancake maker, and a busted coverage on the backside. Good job by Taylor Green fielding that high snap and just terrible bad eyes on the back end for the Aggies. The car rolling, pursuit from behind, and is dragged down. That's Ty Benefield on a blitz. A three and three in the Mountain West. Lega with time pumps and is hit and dropped. Andrew Simpson. is winning, they don't necessarily need the blitz to bring pressure. They bring an extra man. Lega slips through it and has a lane. Has the first down into Bronco territory. Oh. And is hit right at the 38 yard line. Quarter to second quarter. This is an impressive drive by Utah State. And Lega firing, nice throw, nice catch. Micah Davis, ball pops out. I think he was down though, Rich. Yeah. Rajul Faison left the game in the first quarter, has not returned. This is Booth trying to slip through that first level. He does, and cuts back. And Booth outside to the 15, to the 10. What a run with some nice blocks along the way. Lega, blitz coming, has time, fires, caught there, that's Vaughn, and it's not a touchdown, it's fourth and goal. That's a little trick play, that's Vaughn reversing and throwing, and it's intercepted, picked off by Boise State. Amarian McCoy with the interception. And a 21-yard return where it, it looked from the start like it was executed perfectly until the throw by Terrell Vaughn. I like the decision. I hate the play call and the decision to throw that football. Boise was squatting on that play. I agree with you, Rich. It's set up. I thought it was going to be a reverse. Hassanin forces the throw. Halani again with a big hole. Look at George Halani go up the sideline, pushed out of bounds right at midfield. He had a 75-yard touchdown run, his longest of his career, and he adds on another 29 with this one. The Aggies are confused on the... Healy, we just saw in his place. Second down and short. Genty, that's a, a layup for him. Breaking tackles, the nation's leader in broken tackles that he hasn't even played in all the games that we see. Halani. Oh, oh. George Halani. Touchdown. Boise State. 33 yards. And this offensive line is simply taking over. But bam, bam. The open field running of George Halani. He's saying, yeah, Genty went to the NFL a week before spring practice. Been scrambling since. Hillstead in trouble. Ball's loose. And it's picked up. And the Broncos have it. Herbert Gums. Disaster. And now Gums is getting up slow. McKay Hillstead, that's the worst of all possible outcomes, Rich. One of the rules of thumb in football is don't make a bad play worse. He's got to cover the football up with both hands there. He doesn't. Willis with the football. Danielson said he wanted to get back to having fun, and there's nothing more fun for a defense than that. And this is Genty, who's a tackle-breaking machine. An outstanding job this year with takeaways. 
Great point. Genty, outside, racing for the pylon. Genty, dragged down at the one. Jaden Francois got him. And that fumble by McKay set it all up. Play action, Green fires, caught, another touchdown for Lauder. Two targets, two touchdowns. Look, it's Spencer Danielson and Taylor Green. And Boise State has erupted like they have here in the second quarter. Right, they're going to get it. McKay's in trouble, and he's sacked hard. Hassani. That's 10 on the season. Green, little flip. Oh, hold on. He's got a lot of room out there. Cuts through a tackle, gets bounced at the 45. Getting the playoff. Second and five. Genty is in. Genty has a hole, and Genty wheels across the 40 down into the 38 yard line. Devin Dye made the stop too. Genty in the backfield. Genty with the ball. And Genty has the first down inside the 25. Clock stops. Chains move right down the middle. Thomas wanders to the right but gets through and the Broncos and their brand new head coach are going to head to the locker room with a lot of emotion and a lot of momentum. The line of scrimmage and at the linebacker level. Quickly it's third down and 11. That throw in traffic is caught by Davis but he's well short of the first down. Throw on the back side. His legs may help you. Matt Wagner is in two tight end look. Green rolling, looking, throwing, caught there. That's Strawn, and the big kid gets those legs rolling. Strawn inside the 35 and down to the 32. Devin Dye with the stop. Boise State has had a lot. Crow leads Genty, spinning off a hit and falling forward for a nine yard game to the 24. Green pulls it. A lot of room. Taylor Green to the 12. Good open field tackle there. And they are above that. The 72. Genty darting. Genty lunging inside the five. Brilliant. Second and four. Genty a burst. Genty a touchdown. Ball is loose. Genty is in. And the Broncos just keep rolling. Does, but the ball's on the money and it moves the sticks. Hillstead fires up the seam and it's intercepted. Another turnover. That's Rodney Robinson. That quarter. Pitch to Holani. And Holani slips a couple tackles out to the 40 all the way to the 44 yard line that's a 24 yard carry smith as well that's a big loss green in some trouble and he had to throw it earlier than he wanted bolt was still in his pattern and had not made his cut when it was released it's not many people are able to do that but their first down success has been a big part of it blitz comes williams in trouble there's sack number nine ahmed hassanin line world has been really impressed what this group has done because they've been tremendous and a huge hole for Dubar and the Broncos have run for almost 315 yards and counting Dubar he makes people miss Chambres Dubar or Breezy out of Anna Texas tackles you know. <laughs> slouch Dubar nice cut there and he's down to the 10 in the that extra big run blocking tight end. Oh, Dubar with a big hole, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. And a little shimmy. But likely be favored in that game. They got to handle business, but. Oh, there's a catch by Davis. Midfield. Midline. All night. Jones, I don't think he got it. And the Broncos have held 122 left. Playing football. Victory formation. 
And what a night for the Broncos after a crazy, crazy two weeks and a really tough weekend and week. Spencer Danielson and the Broncos with an enormous emotional win, 45 to 10. He was pretty clear about why he coaches and it's for the kids. He told us he didn't want this season to be an asterisk for this senior class. Just give me two weeks, fellas. All of your focus, all of your energy, all of your heart. Let's get back to having fun and playing Boise State football. And boy, was that the case here tonight. And they are still alive in the quest to get to the championship game. As the Broncos improved to five and two, tied with Air Force, they play Air Force on the blue next Friday. UNLV with that win is at six and one. Nothing really settled in the Mountain West, and the Broncos. Spencer Danielson, his first game as a head coach, down ten, nothing, no problem. Forty-five straight points. And a win for Aaron Taylor, Brandon Baylor, our entire crew. I'm Rich Waltz, a presentation of CBS Sports Network, 24-hour home of CBS Sports. On to San Jose, Aztecs.